prototype of a Camaro ZL1 at a test track in Germany. Right next to me is a production ZL1, the most powerful Camaro Chevrolet has ever made. Craig, how fast is the Camaro ZL1 from 0 to 60? Uh, 3.9 seconds. And what's the top speed? 184. What does magnetic rise suspension do? It has about five different adjustments according to what type of driving you're doing from sport to just regular cruising. And it will analyze your driving at about a thousand times a second. And it will allow you to get the most handling out of that vehicle that's possible. Uh, the ZR1 Corvette, which has set many records, that's what it was famous for, the handling with that magnetic ride suspension. That's also on this vehicle, starting at 55,000, that has the 6.2 supercharged uh, LSA, which is the same thing we use in the Cadillac CTSV. Uh, a little more horsepower, 580 horse compared to the 556 of the Cadillac. Is there a new production Mustang that can take on this beast? A 950 horsepower street legal Mustang was unveiled at the New York International Auto Show. It's the all new Shelby 1000. But it all began in August 1964 when Harry Ford II asked Carroll Shelby to develop a high performance Mustang fastback. Shelby shook his head and said, But that's the secretary's car. Shelby eventually agreed, as long as the Mustang developed by him was called Shelby Mustang. Shelby Mustangs quickly became a symbol of American muscle cars. Hi Charles, uh, Gary Patterson with Shelby American. This engine is only 330 cubic inches. It features double overhead cams and four valves per cylinder. What we're looking at here is the large 3.6 liter displacement Kenny Bell supercharger. And the way that we've tuned it on 91 octane pump gas, it's capable of 19 pounds of boost. This year, only the multi-million dollar Bugatti Veyrons are street legal with more horsepower. And the Shelby 1000 will be made to order for $150,000 each. But a Shelby is a Shelby. What's new with the Ford Mustang? Ford says the boss is back. The Boss 302, that is. The original Boss 302s were made between 1969 and 1970 as Camaro beaters. The Boss has been reborn for the 2012 model year. Unlike the Camaro ZL1 or Shelby 1000, the Boss 302's motor is not supercharged. It's a refined version of the Mustang GT's 5.0 with 444 horsepower, manually adjustable shocks, and two of its four tailpipes are turned sideways for sound effect. 0 to 60 in 4.3 seconds for $43,000. The last generation of the Dodge Viper SRT10 was designed in 2009. The all new 2013 Viper looks leaner and meaner with a top speed of 206 miles per hour. The price will start around $70,000 with leather racing seats. Last but not least, the stainless steel DeLorean is going back to the future with the zero emission electric DeLorean. On the electric car, we either have a, a 110 volt, which charges overnight, which takes about eight to 10 hours. We also have the 240 volt, which takes about three and a half hours from dead empty to completely full. The electric DeLorean will quietly go from zero to 60 in 4.9 seconds, and production will begin next January for $95,000 each.